Welcome, fine smokers, to Magic Duels. I'm your host, Roman, and we're going to take a already rebuilt deck for a spin. Uh, this is my fourth duel in a row where I don't get any lands. Yes. Well, when I don't get any, any lands, it's a bit exaggerating. It's when I get only two lands for the whole game. And I have. I'm running 24 lands in my deck. I know it's a bit lower on average. Average, I at least put 25. But it's only one different. And it's a whole world of hurt. And since I'm not running any green, I don't have any way to. Oh, to get them faster out. Yeah, this is pretty much how it happens. I get two lands for the whole game. And my deck is fast, so really, there should never be a problem of lands. Okay. This is the game, right? And well, I'm, I'm playing a lot. Well, I did... Well, I'm still actually playing a lot of magic. Because I played in my time with the cards, I played the magic duels, I played the planeswalkers, you know, the, the, the games that uh, they released. But yeah, I know this happens sometimes, but not four times in a row. That's just way too much. Maybe it's Nigma Drake. Yeah, see? Like this. Only two lands. Boom. This is it I get for the whole game. And our opponent is running blue and red, which can return cards. To my hand, which makes the Fredward colony just a pain to me. And I have Grave Digger to bring it back to my hand, but Grave Digger costs more than two land. Well, again, this is how it happens. I see, two lands, boom. No more. <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. But well, you know, it's not, it's not the fault of the deck at this point. It's, it's just luck. Just dumb luck. And finally, the third land. You may put, so I don't have to. But if he counters my... <laughs> yeah, I don't believe it's worth countering. So, he's telling time, alright. I still not believe he'll be able to deal free damage to my colony, but who knows? There is not Thunderbolt in this deck or the fork. <laughs> yeah, I remember the good old days when you could run. Well, I do believe you still can run in real life, but not on this game. The red direct damage deck with spells that kill your enemy. It looks like our opponent is too land starved. Insidious will counter target spell. You may choose new targets for target spell, copy target, and you may choose new target. Insidious is a missing card. Alright. So, first things first, let us give ourselves life. Still. Or not. No, at least let's all of his mana, so we're still in good shape. <coughs> and I do have a quest, I believe, to play with red or green or blue and white. And here comes the big wall. Well, it's not big anymore. With rich. I can get rid of it, of course. And I will. Now it's 7 damage. And I believe we won the moment he left us to play against Nae. So, 
This is perfect. And I hope you can hear my <laughs> roommates talking, but hey. This is the how it's done. Target player draws two cards and search. But why are you drawing? You will not be able to play anything. Well, four lands for the whole game, but it was enough to bring you down my opponent. I do believe I only needed three. And it looked like he was mana starved too, so I don't believe this is the perfect win. We all want. Alright, great. More monies. I like monies. Of course, let us open a booster. We are at 37%. Ah. Yeah, there's still uh, I still need a lot of boosters to open to complete this set. I may... Mm, no. I'm not gonna talk about it right now. So, human ally. Tap and untap the ally, control, gain to life. Cohorted means you need to tap two. So it's free, basically. Ah, comparative analysis. Surge, and for four target player draws two cards. And for surge, it's a reduced cost only by one. So, yeah. Slaughter drawn. Dispatch until the end of turn, yeah. Embodiment of its sight. Vigilance. Land creatures, yeah. Have vigilance, landfall. Yeah, I know this one. And Vigilance of Brutality, hey! <laughs> this is the, the card that we used in another duel, I believe. Or maybe this one. <coughs> Sorry. So I already told you I'm a bit sick. When our artist Masha becomes the target of a spell, counter a target spell and it starts a card. Hmm. Well, it is trample and haste, huh? For five. I will build an address deck, of course, at some point. But the day has not come. And without further ado, of course, we will dive into another duel, shall we? Alrighty, let's see who we're up against next. Shall we? And I do hope the waiting is not long. Since I know it's already the evening, but I do believe that people come after school and things like that, so yeah, they do it at the evening. Most of them, <laughs> for sure, like me. And the problem was that uh, when I recorded during the day, it was like weekend, so it doesn't really. No, in the weekend, you know, the, sometimes there are there are a lot of people to play against. Sometimes there are none. And it looks like a game by the me again. So, see you in a sec. And it looks like we finally found somebody to play against us. Let's hope we are able to win against. I do hope. Oh. Essentially our deck should be able to win, no matter that we play, but as, uh, as you have seen, we do have some troubles with our land. And uh, the last duel, I believe we only won it because our opponent was struggling for lands. So yeah, let's see how it goes this time. Okay, we're playing against the bot. And we can't leave without losing any ranks. Well, at least I do believe we have a good starting hand. At least enough land. But the problem with red is that it will be able to easily kill our threat work colony pretty fast. But at least Cradle of Workers will bring us some zombies out. So looks, looks like it's a blue and white. So counter target creatures, things like that, is going to be the butter, the bread and butter here. And of course he'll be able to snipe my threat for colony. Yeah, but it's a bot, so I don't really care. I still believe it's a win for me if I'm playing against the bot. It looks like he's not gonna play anything. I don't know what his plan is. But hey, 
Let us get the healer out. Because she will be a bit... Well, not anymore, since the Garbani bombardment now will be able to kill her. But since he didn't play it, I believe we still have a chance. And we do have Trial of Ambition and the Cartouche. Return target to its own hand. Alright. Yeah, that is the, the main idea of this deck, I believe so. It doesn't really press on me that much. So, we are now out again. This time I hope she stays out. And at least our opponent has enough land to play. So, whenever you cast... Ah, yes! Yeah, this card is amazing. Three or more reasons to transform it. But since we're playing against Nae, I'm just going to try to ambition it. So, it doesn't really matter. And I believe I'm able to play both of those. So, I will. Good blade into the trial. And I will be able to pick up, well, to pick the trial back is my cartouche of ambition. So, great. And my creature is now 2 2 2. 2 2 2 2. Yeah. And I, uh, I'm not even gonna try to, <laughs> to say it one more time and better. Uh, let's see, Marlands. He will be able to draw some into a creature at some point soon. And I have a lot of cards that will make me sacrifice. But I don't believe I need to play it yet. So let's just attack this all of our creatures. Maybe I should still try to bait a counter spell. Or just use the Cradle of Dark Earth to get the zombie. But I don't believe we need to. Not yet. Or maybe not ever, since he seems not to be playing anything. And he can bring back the his land and block me. Or I may be able to deal something else with it. So first things first, let's give our vampire a lifelink. And Nobody's gonna get a minus one minus one counter. And the trial is back. He will be able to kill my vampire with his land. Yeah. If he switches his attack. Or yeah, he's just going to block. And, uh, oh no, he really wants my Liana I'm dead. Hmm? Doesn't really matter. My creature is 4 4 now. And I have the trial of ambition in my hand. If he brings another scary creatures out. And don't have enough mana to counter spell my trial, of course. Or, or at least they, are, they come out tapped. But this is 2. Oh, well. I do believe it still doesn't really matter since I'm able to draw from ambition him again. And now it's gonna be 5 damage. And I will bring back a zombie. So I am able to sacrifice something for my flesh bag, Marauder. And I'm. Um, Looks like I'm in full control of the land here. Well, at least till now. Now it can do 4 damage. And he has only one card in his hand. And I still can pick up the Katushu for Ambition, of course. Back up. So, we don't need this anymore, I believe. And it, the, it's flying too, so it's really a great way to assure that we deal some damage in the later parts of the game with our two flying tokens, or even to block the enemy creatures, of course. And our vampire is 6-6 six, six now, 
in great shape. Our opponent has all the lands in the road he needs. And I don't even need to play the flesh back in my radar. So I'm going to attack with everything but one, just in case something hasty comes. And hey, it's game over. Great. And I don't remember what Dark Trials again were our quests. Yeah, I lost a lot of rakes. So, let's see. Yeah, Lure White Spell, or cast Win. So, it's not gonna happen in this deck. But for now, thank you all for watching. It was Roman. Hope you liked it. See you all next time. Take it easy. Bye bye.